Hey, Joe Budden. So Lil Pump has called out Joe Budden for harassing women and is ready to crash out on Joe Budden. Lil Pump shared multiple posts on his Instagram story dissing Joe. The first post calls out Joe for prior assault allegations against women. In a second story, he shared a mugshot from one of Joe Budden's previous arrests. Pump also shared a screenshot of an article about Joe apologizing after being accused of sexual assault by fellow podcaster Olivia Dope. Finally, Pump wrote, it's never okay to hit women. You're a piece of shit. I agree with the last sentence, but uh, let's see what let's see what else he said. Uh, fuck Joe Budden, forty three year old drug addict, woman better, woman beater. I'm assuming you're worthless. Go hit a man, not a woman. Uh, gotta work on you know, grammar. You niggas that uh call out niggas' ages, don't you know you're gonna be forty three one day, well, dog? Yeah, that's a blessing to make it to that. You're gonna be forty three, bro. Like yeah. when you throw a nigga age in the mix, that's mm. trash. I don't, who cares about that, bro? Just stay on, just just stay on task. Mm. You got a problem with the nigga putting his hands on bitches? Mm. All right, cool. But you're your 43 year old drug addict, nigga. Shut the fuck up, bro. So you say just say drug addict, just say woman. Yeah, and you're, and you're a little fucking weirdo. Don't nobody say nothing to you. We don't need the prefix of 43. Nobody say nothing to you. I didn't know Joe was 43, to be honest. <coughs> Who gave a fuck if Joe was 43? I didn't know how old Joe was, to be honest. Yeah. Right? Honestly, who gave a fuck? I, I know, man. <laughs> nah, listen, this is a, a mugshot picture. Pretty young, from the, um, from the this was when. Uh, when the Hispanic chick like lied on Joe and said that he beat her up, and then he went to court, uh, I think, um, I think the charges got dropped. Now, like, and he now like that's a time though where people were like Joe, like we told about when like Joe claims that he sat under her stomach uh, to like subdue her. What you what do you mean sat under her stomach? What are you talking about? Sure. So like she claims uh, that Joe like uh, like. Attacked her, and he was like, "No, I only sat and on right, like, and underneath her stomach to subdue her when she was like throwing shit and wilding oh. out and destroying my home." Oh, to like restrain her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Like sat on her to like restrain her. Okay. Yeah. Right. So like, yeah. Uh, and Joe said that on the Breakfast Club, and then Tax Stone was trying to fish for more information, and Joe would not give it to him. So then Tax Stone kicked out Joe from the podcast. That's what that, you know, like, that whole saga was about. You feel oh, me? Okay, okay. And right. Lil Pump went and dug all this up to go at Joe Budden for what? What did Joe Budden do to uh, piss Lil Pump off? Or was this just sporadic and random in the middle of the day? Uh, I doubt it is random, but Joe Budden does, like, four Patreon episodes a week. I only have time to watch, uh, like, the podcast and right. then probably one extra Patreon, right? Yeah. So I don't know if Joe Budden in one of those... For Patreons. I remember back he on the part. Everyday Struggle podcast that he used to do with Academics at Complex. They He really used to go in on Lil Pump. And I remember when Lil Pump had the whole uh, label situation with Warner Brothers where he got out of his contract because he signed because he was underage when he signed the contract. So he was able to finesse oh, it out. Oh, he finessed him. He finessed the fuck out of that situation. But he had a, a point with the whole him being underage. Joe Budden was rooting for that, but he hated his music. So he would go in there and bash Lil Pump music, but he would give him credit for wiggling out of the Warner Brothers situation. And that was the last time I saw Joe Budden ever speak on, uh, speak on Lil Pump. So maybe you're right. Maybe it is on one of those Patreons. Yeah, yeah right. I didn't see. Maybe he said something about him. But. Hey, man, but hey, listen. I haven't um, seen Joe mention him at all. Yeah. I mean, it could have been, like you said, on one of them Patreons that he does, but yeah. I haven't seen shit. No, right, man. But hey, listen, you know, if we are now media personalities and we speak on these rappers every day, you feel me? You know, these rappers have the right to clap back. You feel me? Now, I have no issue with you clapping back and digging up dirt. Just don't lie. Meaning, right, like, again, if if you're trying to dig up dirt on me or whoever, right, cool, right? That's your right. Just don't lie on me. You feel me? Right? Right? Like, you feel me? Just don't say that I did something that I didn't do or just make up some shit. How Lush tried to do you that day. Huh? Like, Lush tried yes. to do you that you feel, day. Yes, right. You, you, just you, for an example. Yeah, right? Right, yeah, right? So, like, if he comes at Joe Budden, now, I don't know how true most of the stuff he posted in on Joe Budden was. I think there's a police report of the girl. Like, she made a police report yeah. after. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah, right, right. But if he was never like convicted of it, can can you call him a woman beater? He wasn't convicted because she probably didn't go to court. True. Because even if you go to court, the most they'll get is one day of anger management. 
So, but that doesn't yeah. mean she didn't lie. You could you could just make a police report and say he choked you out just to get him arrested. <laughs> it's possible. We weren't. We there. don't know. We wasn't there. There's no so. surveillance footage of it. But no, this shit, so. even if that happened, bro, that was a hundred years ago. Why do people you hit? Even if you slap a bitch one time in your life, and bitches will push you to slap them, it's like that's gonna be brought up forever. Like, let it go already. Uh, that's a slippery slope. That's a touchy uh, situation. I, I understand the whole domestic violence thing because it does stay on your jacket for the rest of your life or the rest of your career in an entertainer's yeah. um, perspective. And it's like. I don't know. Like it's like people still listen to Chris Brown, but if a woman say, "Hey, I'm not gonna listen to Chris Brown over that incident," that's her right too. Then don't listen to R. Kelly. Then people learn how to like, separate music from. But people act like, I agree. You should separate music from. People R. Act Some like people niggas don't. don't get into it with they bitch, or bitches don't get into it with they niggas. That happens. And that's but, life. Yeah, the domestic. It, it comes yeah, with it. Domestic. It, it comes yeah. with it sometimes, bro. Like yeah. I mean, especially being with somebody for m multiple living years, with them. living You're with. You're gonna them. go crazy. Some shit's gonna pop off. Especially if both of y'all got mouths. Yeah. Some shit's gonna crack, dog. It's Facts. inevitable. I think it's different when it happens on like, a, who was the athlete who in the elevator uh, we saw the, uh, the- Ray Rice. Ray Rice. Now when it's caught on camera and shit like that, I feel like that's when it really stings. You don't know what, what happened off camera. That bitch probably was beating the shit out of him every day because she know. came at him first. You oh, don't know. That, yeah, that could be the case. But when it's on camera, I feel like people could just play it over and over again. Or whatnot, but uh, otherwise, the problem when it's, it's on camera is you don't see what led up to it, and that's True. not fair either. True. That's a great point about the. That's mm -hmm. a great point about that as well. Yeah, because all people gonna look at what they saw on camera. There's always got to be a buildup. He ain't just walk in the elevator and just start beating her ass. Exactly. Out of <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, oh fuck! <laughs> I just got a itch. I just got an itch to whoop your ass. Bop, 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 and start taking off on her. It don't work like that, man. It don't. I ain't saying there's people that aren't in abusive relationships because there are, mm. yeah. but a lot of times you gotta get them there. You gotta get a motherfucking there, man. It don't just happen out of thin air. It don't just drop like today. I decided to wake up and whoop your ass. Yeah, yeah. man. Yo, look, look. I got the notion to fire on you, if, bro. I listen, like it. right now, nah, right, like, and that's facts. And there <laughs> was 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 a um, there was this video with Saweetie and Quavo. And mm. even when, yo, he's going and out of his uh, way not to touch her. Yeah. And and he still gets canceled. She was the he didn't get canceled. she was the aggressor in that video, in my right. opinion. Yeah. He and, didn't do in shit. In my wrong. opinion, because he was trying to just leave and just get his back. That's yeah, it. Get his shit he did leave. nothing wrong in, in that video. In my opinion, she was her the aggressor. Team posted in that one. She was trying to grab his Xbox or some shit. He just like yeah. that yeah. shit and kept it moving. Yeah. And her team leaked the footage. And oh, I didn't and know her bro, team. Bro, he didn't put hands on her. Yes. I didn't know that. Right? And and her team leaked it. Just to get like, bro, I say yo, vote, the victim vote, yep, yeah, yeah, bro, like, it's, that's how that shit goes. But yeah. uh, I don't want to say shout little pump, <laughs> so but yeah, nah, man, fuck hey, little pump. Yeah. Listen, if I'm Joe Budden, bro, I'm staying clear of this, bro. Listen, because the last thing that I personally listen, if I have some skeletons in my closet, bro, the last thing that I would want, bro, is to respond back to it whenever somebody and highlights it. And then have no, it get dug up every year, bro. For me, man, nobody so no. lives a perfect life. True, bro. Everybody got skeletons. Yeah, so for a motherfucker to sit there and, like, call the kettle black on that, fuck them. Like, who are you to say anything? Like, that's yeah. not going to be the determining factor of what happens to me because of some shit that I did in the past. We all got a pass. And that's not going to stop me from watching this podcast. No. So I don't know what Lil Pump is really talking about because it has nothing to do with podcasts. Just looking for something to target because he don't got shit else to say. Mm -hmm. So he got to dig up. He ain't got nothing new to say. He can't really clown the nigga. The nigga ain't got no jokes to hit him with. Can't so rap. It's, yeah, so it's best. Yeah, I can't go make a diss track about him. <laughs> can't so rap. So fuck it. Let's go dive into his history. Let's see what he was on. Oh, he hit women. Oh, my God. Man, shut the fuck <laughs> up, Lil Pump. You know you done slapped a bitch or two, nigga. Shut up. You gonna sit there and put that on that man? It's not okay to hit women, nigga. Shut up, punk, little punk. <laughs>